It's about to get kind of crazy up in here, but this is the 30th anniversary special edition Gongasu from Moperk, man. Oh my gosh. Man, I've been anxious. I've been anxious for this set because I know, especially talking with Francis and how he wanted to kind of go about this. And man, talk about like every expectation met. But before we get into the specs, I just opened these up. I haven't played them at all. I looked at them, took a couple of pictures, a couple B-rolls that y'all saw, and I'm like, man, I really, really wanna, yeah, yeah. So first, yeah, let me play first and then we'll, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. Y'all, this is cr straight, straight out of the box, y'all. I have not tuned them. I have not touched them. Yeah, this is, this is, yeah. First impressions. Just first, before getting into the specs. If y'all seen, this is a completely different shape from Moperk. And if you are an old school Moperk lover, you would also remember this looks very similar to their Rumbero series, which used to be 31 inches taller, a little bit slimmer and an extra band. But yeah, so this is what's weird. They sound like Mo Perks, but they don't sound like Mo Perks. I don't know how to describe it. Like I get that Mo Perk sound, but in a different taste and flavor, different palette. If you see, it's not with the belly that it normally has, that classic shape from Moperk. It's straight down. It's like it gets to the point. It's like right there, very crisp. And yeah, so what, what I have right now is an 11 inch Quinto, 11 and three quarter inch Gonga, and a 12 and a half inch Tumba. But the thing I love about their 11 inch Quinto is that you could play it like a conga and it still has that depth and body and feel and you could also crank it up like a 10 inch quinto and it's gonna you know what i'm saying but it's like if you hear this All right, all right, all right, hold on, man. I'm just getting ahead of myself. I need to get to the specs, but automatically, again, first impressions, just hearing it, just more bass for some reason, just like more bass, more feel. Um, ah, okay, I need to get to the specs because, of course, there's a lot of different factors that get into it. But yeah, of course, it is Brazilian mahogany up in here. It, If I'm not mistaken, this is Venezuelan cowhide as well on the top the skins look pretty thick uh for the quinto it's like somewhat thin but i'm looking at the conga it looks pretty thick and the tumba slightly thick but uh Woo! man all right hold on i need to get the specs i need to literally read this off for you guys because they are going all out with this 30th anniversary set for anybody that's gonna be buying a set for themselves. I need to get the specs. Hold on, 
Give me one second. I'm gonna be reading off my iPad. Yeah, because I can't memorize everything, guys. Can't memorize anything. Hold on. All right, I got my notes. Let's kind of break this thing down, y'all, because this is a whole different set. This is a whole different series. This is one of a kind, and I'm just letting you guys know it's special. It's very different, especially with the sound that it's giving. And that's I think that's what they're going for. I think what they're trying to go for is a traditional sound, a traditional look, a traditional kind of like paying homage to 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 drumming to congas and you can see it in the shape and also in the wood choice if you see the wood it's brazilian mahogany like i mentioned and it looks like it's a little bit more of the darker shade of mahogany i'm not sure if it's the thickness of the stave or just the denseness of the wood choice that they chose but man i could i could feel this one man this is this is up there in weight i could feel it but I think because of the shape, the tone really projects. So again, if like, again, this is a tumba. It, it's right there. It's like butter. This is a quinto. It has those slight overtones that again are natural to any drum, but it's clean, it's crisp. Again, it gets to the point. It's like right there, slam in your face. Then again, with the conga, you're getting a more overall sound on this drum. Very diverse. But like I mentioned, I believe they're just really going for that traditional look and traditional sound. Even though they already have a traditional sound, in my opinion, it's very unique to Moperk because they're both like, you could get a modern sound, but also like that old school sound. But I believe here they're really going for that traditional look and sound that you would get in the 50s and 60s with drumming. And I think that's what they're going for, paying homage not only to the drums that came before them, but also the makers that kind of paved the way for Moperg to be what it is today. When you buy more than one drum, if you're interested in getting a set, and I'm, I'm trying to tell you, I'm, I'm about to kind of crank these up, but if you're interested in getting a set, you're not just gonna get the set. You're gonna get a lot more than that as well. See this? See this shirt that I'm wearing? Yeah, hold on. Let, let me get let me get another shirt. Yeah. So, uh, sorry, guys. This is Eric in the future editing. Had to make some corrections uh, before I posted this. But actually, uh, the the right way is if you get one drum. So if you get one of the 30th anniversary drums, you're going to get a free T-shirt. And this this shirt right here is legit. This is beautiful, man. Love the colors, love it's the, the texture. It's a really, really nice, nice shirt, man. And it's gonna come if you get one drum as well. You are gonna get uh, one of these Andres statues, man. And if you don't know who Andres is, it's Francis' father. He's an artist. He's also responsible for the colorful kind of drums that they release. But you're gonna get one of these as well if you just get one drum. And if you get two drums, you're gonna get both of these things along with uh, a nameplate with a little piece of uh, the template that they use for making this drum. And then if you get three or more, you're gonna get all of this stuff plus one of these hats, y'all. Oh yeah, you're gonna get one of these hats. Beautiful, beautiful, man. If y'all don't know, I wear a lot of hats, man. I do wear a lot of hats. I wear them like this, like the cool kids. Yeah, but yeah, let's get back to the video. I'm gonna start cranking this thing up and you're gonna see how much fun we have. Oh yeah, yeah, let me go back to editing. Yeah, consider it, but let's have some fun here. Let me tune these things up and let's see how they sound. Oh yeah, this is about to be crazy. This is about to be crazy.
guys, I'm a blessed guy, man, to, to, to be able to experience this firsthand, and I hope you guys get to do it as well. If you're interested in getting these drums, I'm gonna put all that information down below. Man, I'm just speechless. It sounds amazing. They feel good. The shape feels good playing them. Very, very different vibe. Very, very, man. It's, again, it's that Moperk sound, but it's not that Moperk. I, I don't know how to describe it. It's a very, very different sound to what I was used to. And I know it's not just like from Ash to Mahogany, how like I did with my other set, but it's, it's just a different sound. It's because of the shape. Man, it's very traditional. Love the look. Mo Perk, you guys knocked it out of the park, man. Killed it with this set. Again, be, be, be a lucky one, man. From one to 100, they're only making 100 of this set. Please, if you're considering this, again, if you're gonna get more than one drum, there's gonna be a lot of other stuff included in that. So it's gonna be worth it, y'all. It's gonna be worth it, especially when you're considering the, the kind of piece that you're getting. It's not just an instrument, it's a piece of art. It's an art that we get to play with and, and really enjoy, and it's a different look. And I think them making it at that 30 inch height, which is my preferred height, man, just wow. Look at this, y'all. Look at this craziness. Well, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe, and yeah, tutorials are coming up using this set, y'all. This is about to be crazy. About to be crazy. See you guys in the next video.